All right, this is Windows 10 running on an original Apple TV. So you got the Apple logo here. Now we got U-Boot. What U-Boot is, is it's basically, you can see it's booting an EFI file. Basically what it is, is it, it's an EFI emulator. It allows me to boot other EFI files than the one that this Apple TV came with on the Apple TV, but it's extremely buggy, as you can see by the fact that there's no boot screen for Windows. Uh, there's just like no graphic, like the GOP graphics drivers just doesn't work. And I don't understand what Windows wants, but clearly it's not this. What I had to do was remote into this computer with VNC and then manually install the NVIDIA drivers. And you're gonna see that in like a minute or so here. Um, the NVIDIA drivers are about to load, there we go. It's gonna go to no signal, like it does on everything. Yep, and it's gonna pick up a signal very quickly after that, hopefully. Yep, there we go, we move the mouse around. We have a mouse cursor, we have please wait. We are now logging into Windows 10. This is, I believe, the slowest computer that can theoretically run Windows 10. And it surprises me that it actually does. Um, the graphics drivers in this thing are really buggy because I'm using a version from 2007 because I'm not sure if any more recent versions worked. I didn't want to screw up the install. Um, so the graphics drivers are just really buggy. The transparency is all screwed up, and I have transparency disabled, so it doesn't screw up even more. Sometimes they just black screen on me, and I have to unplug and replug the HDMI. Um, I hope that's not a fault of the graphics card. I mean, this thing's been rock-solid reliable on Windows XP, so I would assume it's just the fault of the um, first-year WDDM drivers, which, which really sucked. Every single one of them, just awful drivers. Um, you can see our taskbar is loading in here, like two minutes after I press the power button, or after I plug this thing in, rather. And we're still not all the way loaded in. The system is still pretty slow. And, like, loading in. Taskbar isn't loaded in. The start menu's not working. It's not going to work. Um... I've disabled some things to try to speed things up, like I disabled Windows Search. I think I disabled Windows Update um, to try to speed things up. I probably disabling Windows Defender would help, um, but you know, overall the performance is it's it's pretty bad, but it could be worse. It looks like we are now in here, and uh, so let's go to CPU Z, launch that up here. And I say it could be worse. It was worse when I was using a mechanical hard drive. The hard drive in this thing, I, I the first install I did, which is early today, hard drive in this thing, um, uh, what I was using was a 20 gig drive from 2001. I just had it laying around. And um, of course, and there we go. You can see the screen just turned off and you know, it's, that now blink back into existence. Let's see if it stays in existence or not. This is just a problem with the graphics drivers, I'm pretty sure. I, hopefully it's not a problem with the GPU. The XP drivers are rock solid stable. These are not. But the original hard drive in this thing, like I was saying, um, is cooked. It just stopped working. It... Uh, I could try to get the data off of it, who cares? Like, it's just a Windows install, I redid it. It was much faster, because I'm running off an SSD now, and off of the, the mechanical drive, it was completely intolerably slow. On this drive, it's almost tolerable, I would say. And that's only because this is upgraded to 512 megabytes of RAM. Thanks, DOSDU1, by the way, um, for making that possible. But um, with 512 megs of RAM, um, this thing runs Windows 10 decently, I guess. I mean, it's not good by any means, but, uh, it's better than it would be if there was, uh, if it was, it was less than 512. 
God, this is so slow. This is the original drive I was using before. As you can see, it is dead, dead, dead. Horrible drive. Goodbye, get out of here. Throw it on the floor if it's middle of the night. God damn, is this, is this frozen? It might be frozen. I just hit control, alt, delete, and now it no longer has the damn UAC prompt, but I didn't get to play, press yes on it. Doesn't look like CPU Z is gonna load. I'm gonna call it here, y'all. It was a proof of concept. This is just, it's just a proof of concept. It was not intended to be fast or like a usable thing. It only works on Apple TVs with 512 megabytes of RAM anyway. I would not put this on an Apple TV with 256 meg of RAM. It would just be way too slow if it even worked at all. Probably wouldn't even boot, probably just blue screen. I know you can get 256 uh, in a VM, but on real hardware, there's a lot more drivers loaded and it's gonna, it, it'd, be, it'd be tight. But anyways, thanks y'all for watching and I'll see you in the future.